This is David Rodecker. I'm demonstrating the Augmento Street View tool um, or a prototype. We have created a, a prototype which um, takes the Street View imagery of the business photos and we've rendered these icons of uh, uh, call to actions about the individual units. So these uh, are separately I, um, identified as, as icons on the map and they have a lat long <coughs> and uh, and they have different aspects that you can do for mouse over events or click events um, so I can see one of these and they pop up a balloon with its own special content um, and we can put any French any HTML there's hyper text or bolded elements to this so this is functioning working um, and uh, workable each of these items are positioned on here as a lat long. However, uh, as you change the viewport, the uh, notice in this view everything appears to change in perspective just fine. But with each frame, um, that perspective changes, and this is an um, an anomaly that occurs because we've taken a 3D um, visual image because we can see three-dimensionality when viewing the image. However, the image doesn't really understand how to um, position itself with just a lot long and it's making assumption that um, is essentially intrinsic to the limitations of how the photo was taken. Uh, this is a problem also, however, if even within this same view uh, in the viewport of having the items here, uh, the same problem occurs because we essentially don't know the elevation of these units. So if I was to change the size um, here, um, it does appear in this particular one to fairly scale fairly well. Notice that the gap now between the, the top of the unit and the bottom of the uh, that picture, and it changes around as we manipulate this. Um, I guess the point of the matter is that this is a this 2D representation of lat long without the element of of elevation, um, and we don't have all the telemetry is essentially creating a potentially poor experience. Um, we could get around that by allowing for these images to be you know positioned with respect to this particular this particular um, uh, view, but. For every view, I would need to then uh, identify the appropriate position of those logos. So um, it's kind of um, defeats the purpose of being able to use the lat long um, to be able to identify each one um, automatically, let's say, and that would, no matter how you're viewing it, it would render appropriately. So um, this is uh, something we've discovered as we've gone along with the street view. Another completely different tactic that we might take is um, is a little bit complex to to describe, but I've got a graphic that kind of represents it. The um, the idea here is that if we considered um, that within this street view, we were to present a, another virtual street view, so it's kind of like a street view within a street view, and each box here is a, is a is uh, more than just a you know lat long, it's also uh, really a panel in the street view. And as you move around, we would be able to more accurately know you know uh, identify what elevation we want to position things at. It also means that um, um, here's here's um, a screenshot of what these graphics would essentially look like within that. So instead of just considering these um, markers as elements within you know typical lat long, they're actually uh, represented as a street view visual and as you uh, drag around and move around they would uh, similarly uh, maintain that. We believe that that is a tactic that could allow for um, better preservation of each frame so that as you move around frames that you don't have everything moving around too much. However, there with both of these actually the complication is essentially positioning these units and, and making these markers. Um, if I was to simply click on Street View, um, I have the uh, markers here. Um, when I click on it, um, I, d I don't really have an understanding of the exact lat and long, but moreover, it's a 
you know, estimation perhaps, because again, the depth of the picture and where walls exist is not well understood. Um, and I don't know if I'm going up the wall here, if I click on that, that door, um, or as I click on, you know, for example, if I want to, if I was to push on the door here, um, it isn't understood that it's actually at the ground position and at five feet high, it's actually considering that it's off in the distance. So, um, Anyway, that's the current status we have right now is we, we know that we have some positioning p problems um, to overcome as well as um, how we would tag and label to be able to put markers on the map. All right.